it, y'all. It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we have to check this one out by WrestleMania. 10 brutal real contact strikes in WWE. Now, there are a few times in WWE, like in WWE matches or promo segments with uh, different wrestlers, where the strikes are legitimate. Uh, the one I can think of offhand is when I believe Braun Strowman had legitimately i think need brock lesnar in a match and then i think in retaliation brock lesnar actually start throwing real punches like stiff real punches because you know he got upset um so i'm, I'm sure they'll probably have that clip in here as well um but yeah man sometimes it happens sometimes you know real punches get thrown real kicks you know get sent someone's way like it's it's part of the nature of wrestling so when people say wrestling is fake no a lot of times some of the stuff that they end up doing is real like the injuries are real um sometimes the punches and then the, the stiff kicks and the stiff elbows those are real you know what i'm saying so there, it's 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 really just being able to you know cover up some of the aspects that you know they try to you know i guess you could say hide in wrestling you know it there's certain things that happen are that are legitimate and then there's certain things that don't happen like some punches aren't real some of the punches are 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 fake you know they're, the way they were thrown they're thrown to look like they're real like it's it's a whole thing you know you can find different videos on how they do some of these wrestling techniques to throw you off but you can get hurt and we're gonna check out some of these moments potentially appreciate all love and support let's get right into this video now the majority of traditional wrestling strikes aren't supposed to make full contact with mm -hmm. the body. However, sometimes wrestlers can be yep. stiff when performing certain strikes and more often than not, this results in some sort of immediate injury or laceration. Yep. What are you oh. looking for? Oh my God. Although this style of wrestling, often cited as strong style, oh. is popular in Japan, in WWE only a select few superstars seem to pride themselves on being rather physical in the ring. Mm -hmm. Superstars such as Brock Lesnar, Sheamus and Shinsuke Nakamura all have extremely physical in-ring styles mm -hmm. and sometimes they can be extra stiff when performing basic strikes such as kicks and punches. Facts. But when was full contact made? Well, join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 of the most brutal real contact strikes in WWE history. This should be a good be one. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification Make bell sure for daily wrestling, wrestling videos Mania. and follow us Go on channel. Facebook for exclusive lists. Subscribe to him, man. He makes dope content. The minute you drive a new car off the lot. Got hit with an ad. I know. Oh, get YouTube premium or whatever it is Sheamus's brutal bro kick to riddle at Wrestlemania this 37 one, yeah, this one as we mentioned brutal. earlier Sheamus has obtained a reputation for being one of the stiffest workers of mm -hmm. all time one of the more recent examples Ooh. of this is his US title match at Wrestlemania 37 against Matt Riddle the finish of the match involved Riddle going for a moonsault which Sheamus would counter by hitting Riddle with a bro kick in midair. Oh it looked absolutely God. devastating and following the match the camera zoomed in on Riddle who had blood all in his face making it quite clear that Sheamus had made full blown yeah, contact. That was, that was Number 9 kick. Shamrock vs Vader When Ken Shamrock and Vader collided at In Your House a cold day in hell in 1997 fans expected one of the most physical matches in WWE history and that's what they got. Now this was Shamrock's in ring pay-per-view debut and he would later admit that he wasn't too sure how to work a safe WWE match as he had just come off a UFC career. This meant that from the very start Shamrock was extremely stiff in the match and was hitting Vader with real punches left and right. Damn. At one point in the match Shamrock punched Vader so hard that he actually broke Vader's nose. Oh. It wasn't too long before Vader retorted back with a stiff lariat which nearly knocked Shamrock right out. The match Damn. was really brutal to watch and it was very rare to see a match that physical during that time period. Number 8 Brock Lesnar punches Braun yep, Strowman in the head. I was head. Just talking about this at the beginning man. Just talking about this. Braun Strowman got a little too overzealous and Brock had to let him know hey. Hey calm that down. I'll, I'll, I'll legit beat your ass. Like calm that down. Take a look at this right hand right from there. Lesnar. And Where's the right? And that that was a stiff right hand. Getting on the wrong hand. side of a former UFC heavyweight champion is never a good idea. Braun Strowman found this out the hard way in January of 2018. 
At the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, Lesnar and Braun would compete in a triple threat match alongside WWE Hall of Famer Kane. And during the match, Braun would hit Lesnar with a stiff knee and Lesnar didn't take too kindly to this. So we responded to Braun by telling him to... However, it wasn't mm -hmm. just words Lesnar used. Lesnar proceeded to legitimately punch Braun right in the head to knock some sense into him. According to Braun himself, Lesnar was cool with him once they got backstage and Braun even admitted he just got carried away in the moment. Mm -hmm. Number 7. Chris Jericho teaches Shane McMahon a lesson at Survivor Series 2016. A Survivor Series 2016 featured one of the most acclaimed traditional Survivor Series matches That was a good match. That was a good WWE match. would revert back to the popular Raw vs SmackDown format as the Raw team consisted of Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Braun Strowman, Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens. They took on the SmackDown team consisting of AJ Styles, Dean Ambrose, Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt and Shane McMahon. Now, although the match was truly great, there mm -hmm. was a notable spot as when Shane and Jericho were wrestling, it appeared as if Shane was legitimately punching Jericho in the face. Fans could gradually see Jericho getting more and more frustrated, so much so that Jericho responded by giving Shane a dropkick right into his face. Damn. During an appearance on From the Top Rope, Jericho would discuss the incident with Shane. It revealed that Shane punched him multiple times in the face, and he had to tell him to calm down as he was getting far too carried away. Number six, Shane's kicks Jeff Hardy. I did not know that. Because a lot of Shane's punches, they they look awful. I'm gonna just be honest. They they're so like they don't even look real. Like they they look so awful. So when he's doing those flurry of punches, to see that it be looking so like it doesn't look believable. But the fact that he actually hit Jericho a few times, I didn't. I would have never guessed. But he's tooth out. As Sheamus makes yet another appearance in this list, but this time he actually managed to injure a WWE legend in the process. At the 2017 Payback pay-per-view, the duo of Sheamus and Cesaro took on the Hardy Boys. During the match, Sheamus would kick Jeff Hardy in the face so hard that Hardy's tooth oh. would actually fall out. This was an obvious accident and just a simple case of Sheamus getting carried away. Immediately following the kick, Sheamus would check on Hardy to Jesus. make sure he was okay, and luckily, Hardy was able to finish the match. Jeez. Number 5. Chris Jericho punches Shawn Michaels' wife in the face. The feud between Shawn Michaels and... This was a good feud. If you guys have not seen Shawn Michaels versus HBK, their feud, and I believe in 2007, fantastic feud. I want to say it was like 2007, 2008. Correct me if I'm wrong. This was a good feud. I Chris Jericho feud. reached its boiling point in oh, the summer yeah. of 2008. WWE would run an angle which saw HBK come to the ring alongside his wife Rebecca mm -hmm. at the SummerSlam pay-per-view to officially announce his retirement from in-ring competition. Mm -hmm. HBK would be forced to retire in the storyline due to the amount of injuries he had suffered during his career. Jericho would interrupt and demand that HBK tell the fans that Jericho was the reason he was retiring. After a verbal interaction, Jericho went to punch HBK in the face, however HBK ducked and Jericho hit HBK's wife right in the face. Unfortunately, Jericho actually made full-blown contact with Rebecca's face with a legitimate punch. Oh, Amazingly, wow. Rebecca wasn't even injured as a result of the punch. Number 4. Brock Lesnar's I remember seeing that and watching the little promo segments for that. I was like, yo, that was a stiff ass punch. Like, it looked legitimately real, and that's crazy. He actually socked her, bro. It was still a fantastic feud. That was such a good feud, bro. Stiff elbow. When Brock Lesnar returned to the WWE in 2012, he was a different animal in comparison mm -hmm. to the Lesnar that was in WWE mm -hmm. between 2002 and 2004. Lesnar was now a legitimate pro fighter who had become one of UFC's most successful fighters of all time. Mm -hmm. Lesnar's style in WWE would be completely reinvented to match his fighter persona, and this had been a move which had received mixed reviews from fans. During Lesnar's first match back with John Cena in 2012, fans were shocked with just how stiff Lesnar was being. Yeah. Lesnar was throwing legitimate punches yep. and elbows at Cena, so I remember much so this. that Cena was busted open. He was busted open legitimately, and he did the same thing to Randy Orton with them elbow strikes. I'm like, oh my god, bro in the match. Brutal. Fast forward to SummerSlam in 2016, where the finish of the match involved Lesnar hitting an elbow on Randy Orton, which busted him open. Hard. This was a planned spot, but yeah. the elbow was 100% legitimate. This was the elbow which infamously caused Chris Jericho to confront Lesnar backstage, as he believed that Lesnar had legitimately shot on Orton to close the match. Yeah, I've, I've, I've heard reports about because Jericho didn't know that that, that spot was going to be planned. So Jericho legitimately confronted Brock Lesnar backstage, like on some, I'm going to beat your ass. Like, what the fuck was that, my guy? Like, 
what are you doing? You're not in the UFC no more. What the fuck is that? You like you legitimately just busted him open with an elbow. What the hell's wrong with you? But they had to break them up because Jericho didn't know that was a planned spot. And even though that's a planned spot, you got to be a tough SOB to be willing to get elbowed at the top of your cranium to the point where blood is profusely flowing out of your head. Once again, you can't fake that, ladies and gentlemen. He legitimately took an elbow to the skull for just to entertain us, bro. Ridiculous. Oh, my God. Ridiculous. In the main event of WrestleMania 34. Oh, yeah, he did it to Roman. Shayna yeah. Baszler kicks Asuka's tooth out. On an episode of Raw in early 2021, a tag match which would take place between Asuka and Charlotte Flair taking on the duo of Nia Jax uh, and uh, yeah, Shayna Baszler would this. end in a disaster when Shayna walked yep. up to Asuka mm -hmm. to kick her in an attempt to break a submission. But the issue was that Shayna accidentally kicked oh. Asuka right in the face, knocking out her tooth in the process. As well as losing a tooth, Asuka would sadly suffer a concussion which kept her out of action for an extended period. Mm -hmm. Number two, Nia Jax punches punch Becky Lynch. In the face from Nia Jax. This was the moment. <laughs> this solidified Becky Lynch mega face turn. When she got punched in the face legitimately, broke her nose by Nia Jax when they invaded, uh, I think SmackDown invaded Raw. And you, all you see is Becky Lynch smiling with blood going down her face. That legitimately, that right there, okay, that made her a badass. People instantly, they couldn't boo her. They had to cheer her. This motherfucker legitimately got her nose busted open. She's smiling. That's a badass right there. Changed my career. Yeah, it changed her right. career. That, that moment changed her career. And Nia Jax over the past few years has attained a reputation for being rather unsafe mm -hmm. in the ring. This all started on a particular episode yep. of Raw in 2016, which saw the SmackDown locker room invade Raw to build up to the Survivor Series. In one particular segment Ooh. on the show, Nia will legitimately punch SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch in the face, breaking her nose in the process. Nia actually punched Becky so hard that she also suffered a concussion. This resulted in Becky being pulled from her scheduled match with mm -hmm. Ronda Rousey, which was set to be the biggest match of her career. Yep. And number one, Seth Rollins breaks John Cena. This one right here, man. This is when Seth Rollins was really at the peak of his heel run going against John Cena, man. And this was a good match, too. Fantastic match. Destroyed John Cena's, Cena's nose, nose, bro. One of the top matches on the SummerSlam match card in 2015 mm -hmm. was a winner takes all match between Seth Rollins and John Cena. Although the match was without a doubt the best match on the show, Facts. the build up to the match was what people talked about. Mm -hmm. Cena and Rollins would square off one on one on Raw, and during the match, Rollins managed to break Cena's nose by kneeing him straight in the face. Mm -hmm. This put the SummerSlam match in jeopardy as WWE weren't sure if Cena would be healthy enough to wrestle the match. Rollins breaking Cena's nose was met with heavy criticism system from mm -hmm. WWE legends such as Bret Hart who believed that Rollins was unsafe in the ring and he was incredibly reckless to break Cena's nose. Nevertheless, Cena managed to recover in time for SummerSlam mm -hmm. and he Rollins did. would end up winning the match, securing both the WWE and US titles in the it's process. Time, well, there you have it, folks. Ten of the most brutal real contact strikes in WWE history. This, Be sure to this leave was a comment down video. below. And Definitely a dope video. Had to uh, get this out for you guys because videos like this interest me as well you know what i'm saying so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and and once again you put some respect on wrestling man like i know a lot of people say oh it's fake the, you know the matches are predetermined storylines are predetermined but the injuries are real sometimes these stiff matches stiff shots they can end in uh you know someone going to the hospital or having a concussion or having a broken nose or you know you know anything you know anything can happen when you're when you're in a squared circle so give respect to those who perform who put their bodies online to entertain us we appreciate you guys and you know we're there to support you know it seems like especially in wwe case lately they've just been letting go of all their great workers and great talent don't know what's going on with that but appreciate all the love and support man comment down below let me know what was the most brutal stiff contact moment from this video i'm gonna have to give it to honestly brock lesnar and them stiff elbows to to randy orton i watched that live and i was legitimately like holy fuck because they ended off the show like that i was like bro they they just made brock like 
Brock like a legitimate monster, bro. Like people were legitimately shocked because it wasn't just that wasn't a blade job. You didn't have he didn't have enough time to blade. That was a legitimately as soon as he hit that elbow, blood. And I'm talking about blood just pooling out of his head. People were legitimately shocked at that point. And it made him more of a make a heel. Cause like, bro, this this motherfucker can't be stopped. He's literally trying to end people's careers. So yeah, man, definitely that that was uh, a, a incredibly stiff moment for me so pause <laughs> so comment down below let me know uh, what was the most crazy brutal contact moment in wwe from this video appreciate all the love and support road to it's crazy i was almost about to say 50k but i'm already there road to 60k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all on the next one peace